right. Let's check this out. Got this guy. Snivy, snivy. All right. And out. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom in. That way, this is cut off. All right, let's go um, like broader picture first before getting uh, getting into the technical aspect. Watch out for this. Like, there's a moment. Not that he, Wolf is looking already, but it feels like eyeliney. It's already there. Because again, it's not like there's a lot of grass. You got to be careful. I would still, I would still have more something like this, this thick here. You know what I mean? Where it's just it's a lot, and it really covers it, and it's the wolf is looking down more and it's you might even start like this because the weird thing about this one is that it's looking there but then looks away and then looks kind of back to me this would work better if you actually just start here looking down and again just i would put in a lot more and you might have to do something where you take a bunch of these you know make it thicker with your pivot down here so that when the wolf goes through there and i would the thing is i would sniff 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 go forward so that it pushes the leaves to the side. Like you really want this thing of, oh, I'm pushing this to the side and now I am finally, oh, I'm seeing this. You mean like this should be, this should be your, your frame and composition where, you know, there's a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, but this is in front of it, you know, to really make this visible like that. So it, like it's a cute compositional, reveal of just the eyes you have some nice eye acting there and then it can do this then it's totally fine you know I mean like then it's all above and then you can do this and it can still push the leaves down there which then in turn will maybe you know aggravate this guy and this that's why this guy turns and then i would i would still have it turn because right now this doesn't work because you're completely breaking the rig at this point so i would still turn this around this is broken here you know it's all the poses are broken so Imagine the leaves coming down, disturbing the seagull, turning around again. So it's it's more like this. And then after that, it, then it's already ready to walk. You can do all of this. Watch out for this. This, again, feels too broken. I would... I know we talked about this kind of... Maybe do something else, but... I think I would do something where it's just a bit more... Uh, forward. Okay, that forward. So you would have more of a pose where... Shoulders maybe a bit higher so we can collapse this a bit more and then have those paws like this as the head goes forward, you know. So it's just a it's a bit more anatomically correct versus this just feels weird where it's just so broken and so straight up. And then let me see for the rest. I think those are the biggest things in terms of the acting, coming in, sniffing, going forward, doing this, doing that. And then I think on that turn, I don't know. I don't know. This might be wishy-washy feedback, but looking at this now, the wolf looks, and then it's it's this odd thing of, and boom. Then it's just kind of dying, where it kind of looks up and just rolls back, and then it looks up again. And I don't know if we need this. I feel like we can go from this pose straight to this. It rolls backwards while still looking at it. And then it closes its eyes. You know what I mean? There's just something odd about just that moment. And watch out. Like there's this. It looks back. But then Seagull does this. For for what? To alert him to look back? I don't know. I'm not sure that quite works. Very subjectively, of course. But I will probably just go from him rolling back like this. While looking to this still looking and then finally with different pose doing that now from a technical point of view again i will bring those feet forward so it's a bit more natural like this out like that feels broken this watch out as you have movement you gotta have some residual movement in there some keep alive so it doesn't feel so dead and just up here careful how much you turn because again the neck it's a bit broken. There's a lot of drifting animation. Your root just goes like you you can't have just a key here and a key here, and this is just a linear key drifting over like that timing-wise, and just doesn't work. 
it would just be something a bit more. You look around and then hold, and then you just have eye darts, maybe some like eye, uh, head darts, but not this long drift. It just feels too soft. Again, a lot of body movement that breaks the leg. Like you're just going to have to have, you can have body movement, but then you just have to take a lot of quick little steps, which would also be really cute. But you got to move those feet. They just feel too IK locked. Then think in terms of silhouettes, like this is just a wonky silhouette where the head is in front of the body. You know what I mean? Like you got to push seven in Maya just with the rigs and no background. And then that's your silhouette. And it just doesn't quite work. This feels better. We understand the structure a bit more. Watch out for this. We're getting a lot of sliding feet. That doesn't work either. Again, not quite sure about this moment just in general, but watch out. This again, this leg is totally broken pointing this way. Feels like there's a lot more broken than last time. Like you have really overextended legs going over there. And for him, he works a bit better. Just got to have moments where it's less all moving as one piece. It gets a bit, it's just here and there. It's not always like moments like these feel too rough where all of this feels like one piece of geometry geometry going up and down and then you're just gonna have to work just on your physics if you look at this how it kind of pops down and then you got the knee pop over one frame pops up and locks and then goes out this way as opposed to a nice arc the head coming down here is just too, too fast and then this especially gets really rough where the body moves over locks then moves to the left then goes to the right again and then only this pops down and then that pose is a bit broken at the end there. So it's a bit of a combination of just making things a bit clear in terms of uh, silhouette and everything. But just like with your previous clip, I think you're still struggling a lot with basic body mechanics and timing and weight. Um, so I would really attack this shot. One section by section. You mean you do this, then you do this, then you do that. There's just there's a lot to do. Because also this shot is 13 seconds long, but it's a lot more entertaining. There's a lot more stuff happening than the previous shot, or the one that I looked at before. Um, so that helps in terms of entertainment value and pacing, like what we're interested in, look, in looking at. But it's just it's just a lot of work. And I'm wondering if that's just too much for you to handle at this point. And maybe just take a, a one section and concentrate on that. You know I mean, it could be... I would still do the set piece though. But imagine you have all this. It's cute how the set is pushed to the side. We just see the eye acting. And imagine you're just doing this. Whoa! Hmm. What's this? Cut. And then he comes forward, and then this guy moves the body back in a turn like this, pivoting from the head in a funny way. And then you got three seconds. There's a lot to do there, and you can really push the timing. Um, because I think I showed you that that clip with the maximum maximum's horse. Also, really short. There's just a lot more to do in terms of mechanics and timing and weight. And I think it might be more fun to you to also concentrate on the shorter piece. Because this already could be really fun because you get a lot of contrast in there. From this to this to that. And then as it gets better, then you can go backwards and maybe add this. Continue on and work on more of this and so on and so on. If that makes sense. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.